now we will call our next speaker dr anil sestha from nepal he will be speaking on instruments and accessories of rirs dr anil uh, very good morning my seniors and my friends i bring warm greetings from nepal so i'll be talking on uh, instruments and accessories uh, for rirs uh, so, but mostly I'll be covering the recent uh, current trends and updates of uh, scopes that, that we use for RIRS. So we all know that RIRS is the youngest uh, member in the treatment of uh, renal stone disease. But uh, in last decades, there, there, has been, there have been uh, visible improvements and changes in uh, ureteroscopes. We all know that the size, quality of vision, and the, uh, uh, the deflections of scopes can make the, uh, uh, change the success and the morbidities of, related to the surgery. So obviously, there are significant improvement in all these aspects of the, uh, of the scopes. And obviously, uh, there, uh, the new single-use scopes have been introduced in the market. So when we talk about the size of the scopes, uh, there are uh, fiber, opti fiber optic and digital scopes, uh, the uh, so-called first generation or early scopes, they were a little bulky, up to 10, 10 uh, and 10 plus friends. Uh, but the current recent scopes from most of all the uh, uh, companies, the um, diameter or the, the size of the scopes have been markedly reduced up to 7.5 friends, which has made our um, uh, uh, negotiation on, in our ureters more easy, especially in our part of the world where the ureters are thought to be smaller than the Western ureters. So the, uh, the current trends are smaller tip uh, fiber optic scopes up to 4.9 frames from Olympus and most of the scopes are around 7 to 8 frames uh, size. When talk talking about the digital scopes, Digital scopes are uh, uh, slightly bulky than uh, fiber optic scopes, but again, the size are getting smaller. The size, size is getting smaller, and most of the scopes in the markets, they are around uh, from 8, 8.4 frames to uh, 9 frames in size. Uh, so talking about the quality of vision, uh, uh, quality of vision, obviously, digital scopes are uh, superior in comparison to the uh, quality of vision in terms of uh, when we compare with a fiber, opti fiber optic scopes. Uh, again, the cost of the digital scopes are another issue. Uh, but there, there are, uh, so far there are very few, few studies which, which has compared the success rate or stone clearance using fiber optic and digital scopes uh, at, in 2010 and 2013 by Somani et al. and Binbe. But uh, there was no difference in uh, stone free rate when, when the surgery was done using uh, digital or fiber optic scopes. But the operative time was significantly shorter with uh, digital scopes. So, so uh, uh, if, if you have to buy only one scope uh, for the stone disease, then I think uh, fiber optic scopes is still, still is a, a good option. But if you want to uh, do, uh, if you are doing a good number of upper track TCC, then digital scop scopes would be better. There is a, uh, there is a very interesting study uh, came from a Petra group in, from Europe. Uh, they have compared uh, vision, uh, vision of different available scopes, around uh, eight, eight different scopes. And uh, what they have found is uh, Flex XC from Carl Stores has the uh, best image quality uh, in terms of um, uh, image uh, in different modes, uh, with a, with a, uh, uh, <coughs> they have compared the XC in two modes, white light and Clara chroma, so-called Clara chroma mode. And in both the modes, this scope has proven to be superior in terms of vision. So when we talk about deflections of our uh, flexible scopes, uh, most of the modern scopes, they have uh, quite uh, good deflections ranging from 272 to 275 degree dual upward and downward deflections. Uh, uh, so that, this has made uh, these uh, scopes very useful to negotiate all the difficult calluses, including uh, lower, lower uh, pole calluses, horseshoe kidney, and abnormal kidneys. So both the digital and fiber optic scopes in market at present time, they have good deflections. 
Whereas uh, previous generation scopes from different companies had only limited deflection, like uh, 180 degree deflections upward. Uh, these scopes are no more available in the market, but uh, few, uh, we, we still have the scopes, so we, we still use these scopes. So uh, another study that uh, was conducted uh, 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 in Europe uh, to compare the uh, N-tip deflection of flexible utroscopes uh, using different scopes uh, to negotiate the difficult lower pole. And uh, it was found that uh, Flex X2, fiber optic scope from Carl Stores, Flex X2 was associated with uh, a better negotiability in diff difficult lower calyx. So uh, they have also concluded that fiber optic scopes from, uh, from different uh, manufacturers are good to negotiate lower pole than digital scopes. So if you have uh, uh, difficult lower pole uh, stones, then if you have both the scopes, you, I think you should prefer fiber optic scopes to negotiate the lower pole. So uh, uh, if we go through all the characteristics of different scopes, then what we can find that Almost all the scopes are comparable. You know, the size, the uh, working channel diameter is 3.6 centimeter in most of the scopes. Shaft diameter is, varies a little, but uh, it's almost the same. Deflection has improved a lot, and viewing angles are the same. So uh, most of the scopes are getting smaller. The working channel is better. The vision is getting better. That is making our surgery more comfortable with less morbidities. So, there are new, new single-use scopes or so-called disposable scopes in the market. Uh, the only, pro the pro only problem in our part while using single-use scope is the cost, and I think it's getting better these days. Why single-use scopes came into the market is because of the cost of our reusable scopes. They are, they are considered and they are uh, still being criticized for the um, costly scopes, costly procedure actually, RIRS. So uh, when it can, uh, I mean, the scope can be damaged from the very first case, so the cost is uh, quite an issue when we do uh, RIRS. Sterility and the repair issue in our part of the world, if your scope gets damaged, then we have to send it back to Germany or uh, near countries to get, get it repaired. So these are the issues with reusable scopes. So, so single-use scopes are, uh, are uh, uh, I mean, uh, finding the very firm place in, in the market, uh, especially when we have to do difficult cases like lower pole cases, horseshoe kidneys, when we have to deal with a larger stones, uh, when we have a seropositivity case, or if you have a resident training program, when, when you have to give your cases to your residents, then single-use scope can really be handy. But one interesting uh, study uh, which came in 2018 uh, proved that single-use scope is cost-effective only when your cases is less than 99 cases per, per year. That means when you have a good number of cases, if you do good number of surgeries per year, then still reusable scopes can be uh, cost-effective at your setting. So talking about accessories, uh, I think uh, um, uh, covering all the accessories in this today's presentation is not feasible. I'll talk something about accessit and baskets. Routine use of axis is not necessary for RIRS. If you are planning for basketing, uh, then, then our, uh, axis is necessary. So whenever you are planning to use axis, use smallest possible axis to minimize the ureteral injury. But again, larger axis will help us, help us to keep the renal pressure low. That will decrease the morbidity related to RIRS. So you have to check and balance, you know, you have to balance between the size of the scopes and the pressure of uh, intrarenal pressure. So while talking about baskets, baskets are commonly used for relocation of the stone from lower pole to middle or upper pole, or for stone re retrieval and for chemical analysis of stone. Again, stone, the size of the basket is very important. Commonly used baskets are 1.5 to 2.4, 2.5 friends baskets from different manufacturers. The tip designs are different, like from uh, zero tip or uh, N-circle from Cook, or da Dakota or N-gaze from Cook. The shape are different, but the, um, the main issue is to grasp the stone. Again, the, uh, whatever is inside the working channel can decrease the irrigation and deflections. 
So if you are using a 3.6 frames working channel scope, uh, sometimes when we try to pull out the stone, it comes into the urator, but it doesn't fit or it doesn't come out of the axis yet. In that way, if you are using 1.5 frames of the basket, then if you are using 200 micron fiber, then you can simultaneously pass the uh, laser fiber from the same working channel and break the stone and save your basket for subsequent retrieval. So just to conclude, uh, we should have a good knowledge of our scopes. We should have good knowledge of the irrigation flow and access sheet and the other accessories that we use to decrease the morbidity related to our surgery. Like if you use a smaller access sheet and higher irrigation rate, it can increase the internal pressure. Similarly, if you use a smaller access sheet and a larger scope, it will decrease the outflow from the kidney and increase the intraarenal pressure. So if we know our accessories and scopes better, we can decrease the morbidity and increase the success. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Anil. Any questions from the house? How much difference do you recommend between the sheath size and the scope size? For example, now the uh, disposable scopes, they, they recommend you can pass it through a 10 French, 11 French, but the distance is very less. Uh, we are worried that the pressures would be high. So how, what, what is your criteria? Yes, uh, one issue is to, uh, I mean, uh, the difference between size and size of the scope and the size of the access sheet. More important than that is the irrigation flow. You know, if you, if you, you, uh, if you have a good uh, um, uh, gap in between the scope and access sheet, also if you are using high pressure irrigation, then you can cause, a, I mean, fornicial rupture or it, it can induce a urosepsis. So uh, I think uh, the irrigation flow is more important than the gap, gap of the scope and the access sheet. I generally use 10-12 um, uh, for XC or any other digital scopes and uh, 9.5, 11.5 for fiber optic scopes. And use minimal possible uh, irrigation rate that gives you a good vision is, should be maintained. You use a pump. Pardon? You use a pump, is it? Yeah. Uh, no, I use just a normal gravity. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.